First, I was wondering if the suspect is a male or a female. I've gotten this question quite a few times, and we've left it out for a reason. It's because we don't know. All right, folks. So for today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about some crazy stories that came across over the week. And uh, the first one is actually this one, which I didn't think was true as it was from uh, an Instagram page, Six Buzz. But it claims that the University of Waterloo bans straight white males from applying to recent job openings. And so I thought, I thought, why not do some more digging? And I actually found the job itself here. So at the University of Waterloo, Sheridan School of Computer Science, it states that the University of Waterloo invites applicants for two tenured faculty positions. Exceptional scholars of research at the rank of full professor or associate professor are sought who are eligible to apply for the Canadian Research Chair position. It says the priority research areas include all areas of artificial intelligence and all areas of computer science. However, for position one, the call is open only to qualified individuals who self-identify as women, are transgender, gender fluid, non-binary, or two-spirit. And position two is only open to qualified individuals who self-identify as a member of a racialized minority. Now, to the people who are trying to state that there's no such thing as indoctrination in school, the kids aren't being indoctrinated, etc., etc., what, what, what do you say to this? If these people have to be full professors or associate professors, and it goes into here a little bit more qualifications. Applicants must have either earned a doctoral degree or an equivalent terminal degree in computer science. Applicants should be at the rank of full professor or associate professor who are expected to be promoted to the rank of full professor within one to two years of nomination. If somebody already has all of those qualifications, why would it matter if they are white or straight? However, the university seems to defend this because right under the application part, it says commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion, DEI. The university values diverse and intersectional identities of its students, faculty, and staff. The university regards equity and diversity as an integral part of academic excellence and is committed to accessibility for all employees, except if you're white or straight. We encourage applications from candidates who have been historically disadvantaged and marginalized, including applications who identify as indigenous people, black, racialized, people with disabilities, women, and or 2SLGBTQ alphabet soup. Now again, if you already have all of these qualifications and happen to be under one of these umbrellas, cool, that's great. But to simply say that you can't apply if you're not under one of these groups is discrimination. Yet they again defend it by saying this particular section pr selection process will offer the provisions of, for special programs as described by the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Now, if you go to the Ontario Human Rights, it states that the purpose of the Ontario Human Rights Code is to create a climate of understanding and mutual respect and dignity and worth for each person. It gives everyone the right to equal treatment in employment, housing, goods, services, facilities, contracts, memberships, unions, trades, etc., etc. Everyone is entitled to be free from discrimination in these based areas, such as race, religion, sex, sexual orientation, everything that this job application has against straight white men. However, if we go even further into this, it says organizations can choose to develop special programs to help disadvantaged groups improve their situation. And according to this, organizations do not need permission from the Ontario Health for a Human Rights Commission to develop a special program this means that special programs can be put in place without delay. This guide is designed to help you develop effective special programs. So essentially, anybody can just say, we're not hiring you because, well, we have a special program and it's only for them. And that's all they have to say. 
because it says the code of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms both recognize the importance of addressing historical disadvantages by protecting special programs to help marginalized groups. The Supreme Court of Canada has also recognized the need to protect programs established by legislation that are designed to address the conditions of a disadvantaged group. So if you were born white and your sexuality happens to be heterosexual, well, guess what? You're now shit out of luck in regards to a tenured position that potentially pays up to $170,000 to $250,000 simply because of something you can't control. You have no control over the color of your skin and your sexual orientation, yet you're now barred from this. And this indoctrination doesn't just stop with the schools as we've seen. It's now spilled in over into many different facets, as well as this story that just came out a few days ago about the Vancouver police not being able to say whether this person who committed a sexual assault happens to be a male or a female, despite there being evidence of semen clearly this is a man yet because they have breasts i guess or look like they have breasts and they have long hair they're not able to tell if it's a woman but i want you to listen to what the constable says in this video here hi my name is um amy ham i'm a journalist and i just saw a press release about uh, an assault on surrey skytrain last august yeah um, I'm just calling to get any more information that you have. First, I was wondering if the suspect is a male or a female. I've gotten this question quite a few times, and we've left it out f for a reason. It's because we don't know. Okay. Um, the video sh evidence shows someone who is um, who would appear female, who is female presenting, but the physical evidence is that of a genetic male. The physical, does that mean like uh, this person was assaulted and raped with a penis or? Um, the suspect, uh, we believe, does have a penis um, because of the DNA evidence that was recovered. But the video shows someone who appears to be female presenting. So that's why we left the gender out because we're, we weren't really sure how this person identifies. We didn't want to get it wrong. Okay. Um, do you, is there any information that you could share with me that's not in the press release? So, the investigation is quite complicated, and we've omitted some of the evidence to preserve the integrity of that investigation when it does go to court, so that's why we've withheld that information. Okay. So, I, I, I would love to give you every detail, but I, I simply can't. Yeah, we're living in friggin' bizarro world. As you can see there, the Toronto uh, the transit police say that they don't know if the suspect is male or female, despite having recovered semen. Guess what? Males produce semen. Like, yeah, their concern is that they don't know how the person identifies and we didn't want to get it wrong. We need to just burn this country down or I need to leave because I'm losing my mind with the craziness that's happening here. And everyone who wants to say, oh, no, but, you know, it's it's we're being progressive or it's accepting. It's well, this is going to add stats to now female sexual saying that females are the ones committing these assaults because you can't come out and look at this person have the evidence that it's a man and simply say that it's a male, you're going to now categorize this as a female? Come on, like, wh what games are we playing here? It's just utterly ridiculous that they're so concerned on not misgendering this person or how they identify or anything about him when they're the ones who committed the crime and we have evidence of it. And instead of helping the victim of the crime get justice by putting this person behind bars, or arresting this person we're gonna play this game of uh I, i'm not sure and again this is what i mean about the indoctrination it, it's just getting too rampant but again it's just my opinion love to hear from you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this and as always uh i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks so much